YouTube, today I was getting ready to pack my book bag for a con I'm going to pretty soon here. And I figured I'd, I'll just show you what I put in my book bag. I usually, uh, I usually just carry a book bag around. I don't carry like, like a push cart of uh, the short boxes or anything like that. I just can't, I don't got the time for that. So <laughs> I usually just go with one book bag. But uh usually go with the old, you know, 90s, a bunch of pouches on there. <laughs> this one is actually a laptop. Uh, for a laptop where you get fit up like the bigger laptops so this thing comes in real nice and handy when you're storing your books in there so yeah ton of pouches uh you got the Sinestro keychain yeah good luck <laughs> but oh so what I put in the book bag is to keep my books secure and stuff you get these like these plastic bags at your comic shop like every week when you go to pick up your stuff, so I usually use those, but I would just put two pieces of cardboard in there, and I mean, I can get like 30, or, yeah, pretty close to 30 books in here sometimes, depending, I know it's not, I'd say more like 20, 25 is max, but uh, yeah, if I get like, you know, 40 books in one day, I'm doing pretty good, <laughs> so I usually take uh, two of these with me, with the cardboard, and you can use a rubber band or some say gum band, uh, to make sure they're secure. I don't use the gun, rubber band for anything like that. Uh, they stay nice and secure in my book backpack because I got two different uh, sections in it. So. Uh, the other thing is, I always take uh, another bag just in case I have to use this one to carry the rest of the stuff out with. But I also keep in this bag, I keep um, spare bags and boards. I only take maybe like between five and ten. Uh, just in case you find that gem in the you know dollar bin that's you, know, <laughs> you want to just make sure it's secure in there. So it's always good to keep a couple extra bags and boards with you. Uh, no, like anyone. I also um, let's see. Always bring your uh, extra sharpies and stuff like that. I keep try to keep many colors I can. I'm out of red right now, so but the kids keep taking them out there. But yeah, I've gone to artists where, the, you know, they, I wanted something signed in silver the one time, and then they tried to sign it in silver, it was all out, so I was like, that, that was the first and last time, so I make sure I always carry at least the silver with me. Uh, let's see. I always also, uh, just in case, I keep blank variant covers, too, just, you never know who you're going to run into, uh, stuff that you want to be, get signed, you know, from the artists that are repairing. So I always try to keep a couple of blank covers. Not that they get uh, used at all. I usually end up not using a lot of them, but just to have like one or two just in case I find something there. Also, you know, these places are notorious for you know overcharging on beverages, but they gotta make their money somehow, so I'm not I'm not hating. But uh I always uh, make sure I carry a water bottle. I keep a towel around it inside, and I use a Ziploc bag. Uh, it's just a regular freezer or gallon bag. And this keeps it just from, it's a little overkill, but I just, just in case that, you know, it leak or something, it leaks in this bag, and that's it. <laughs> You'd hate to get home and you know, find a bunch of soggy books, you know. But I keep it on the pouch, which um, I'll try to, I'll take a video afterwards after I put everything in the backpack and show you what it looks like after that. Also keep, you know, a snack just in case. Because I try not to eat there at those places at all. And lastly, uh, but not most, not most important, but I always think it's important. Uh, just the, uh, you know, MP3 player and headphones. Uh, I don't bring the expensive, you know, Beats or anything with me. They're just these are five, five below earbuds. So, you know, just in case you're standing in line. I mean, there's a lot of times you're standing in line for a good 45 minutes to an hour. And, yeah, they're always nice to put in when, you know. Guy behind you is telling, talking, trying to talk to you about how Hawkman's the greatest superhero that gets disrespected ever. You know, I just don't want to hear that. You know, I just put him earbuds and you know, let them chat away all they want. So, but uh, I'll pause this, then I'll put everything in the bag, and I'll show you at the end what I what it looks like inside. Okay, guys, I'm back. So this is basically what it looks like after a day's day uh, then of con shopping there. So. I threw a couple books in here just so you see what it looks like after it's, you know, 
a uh, pretty successful day. So I got all that stuff. I got the drink bottle on the side. I got the pens in there. Or I'm sorry, the, the Sharpies. Yeah. MP3 player and stuff like that. So that's how I do my book bag up for whenever I go to a con. Uh, if you guys got any other tips and tricks or anything yet, just put them down below. I'd like to hear about them. But uh, that's about it. So I just figured I'd just share that today. And as you can see, it fits in there real nice. So just think if I had like, a couple more books in there, that, that's not going anywhere. I mean, I could probably ship that across the United States, you know. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll talk to you next time.